Well, hey everybody, it's Wednesday. Welcome back to the shop. Uh, yeah, not uh, getting that code reader just yet because I'm still, well, back up a minute. Still messing with this cap table. Uh, I'll get it figured out sooner or later. Uh, the, um, that plunger to me just seemed stuck. So I went out there, took the fuel pump back off. Um, gonna spend a little time, man, messing around, try to get that plunger out of there. Um, and see what happens. Um, but it seems to me, well, went out there last night and messed with it. Here, I'll um, show you a little bit of a, a little bit of video of where I was out there messing with it and trying to explain stuff. I'm gonna throw up a picture here real quick. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna turn out on this phone, but um, so you got an idea of what it is I'm trying to get out of there. It makes sense. Um, so, it, well, so it makes sense to you. Um, all right, hang on, then we'll get out there and do what we gotta do. All right, so that's what the little piece looks like. Um, I won't know what it turned out like till after I get the video together, but the picture. But, but there you go. That's what I'm after. Now, well, let's get on it. Well, guys, like I said, man, I'm still stuck on that. This little piece right here is trying to get you down in there tonight. Uh, I had to get a flash thought right, you see. But I'm still stuck on that. Uh, it wasn't right. Uh, seems to me two fuel pumps having the same problem. It needs, you know, that needs to be checked into. So, Curiosity got the best of me. I'm going to be running back and forth, man, working and doing this at the same time. Uh, but that piston's coming out of there. All right, so I'm out here working by myself tonight. Uh, we sprayed, if you watched that last video, we cleaned this out pretty darn good. And uh, we sprayed a ton of PB Blaster, Carburg Cleaner, anything that might eat up carbon down in there. Even took a propane torch and I'm not above that tonight. Uh, and it, it still wasn't moving like it's supposed to. So, like I said, back and forth, um, all we're doing is messing with this. Because uh, I think this could be the whole problem. The pump, that little sleeve is stuck in there and it's not doing what it's supposed to as far as moving back and forth. Uh, so the pump is not getting a full stroke on the pump stroke, which is feeding that fuel rail, um, and in turn is getting, you know, low, low fuel pressure in there, yada, 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 and that's why it's throwing the codes. But, hey, right, let's see if we can get this thing loose. So the first thing I'm going to do is spray that with a carb cleaner. I figured that's a quick uh, carbon killer. Uh, I'm going to let that sit there for a few minutes then we'll come back and uh, see if I can move it a little bit. Hang on. Alright. So let's sit there for a few minutes while I was in there tinkering around with some machines. Let's uh, tap this thing. Here, get solid. But it was stuck all the way out at the end of its travel. Uh, so evidently that spring on that pump ain't as tight as I think it is, so like I said, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and maybe sooner or later, uh, we'll get that thing out of there. Let me give you a look at this, right? So, a pair of needle-nose pliers, they'll fit in there. 
gives me a minute. Give me a minute. All right. But you can't, you can't budge it. It won't move. So I'm going to spray it down again. Let it sit here for a few minutes. Turn the motor over. And then while it's out here, try to grab a hold of it and pull it out. How? All right. So <clears throat> there you go. You've got kind of an idea of what's going on. In my mind, that little piece, should, that little, uh, is, they call it a cam fall over or something like that. Uh, that thing should just, you, you should be able to pull that right out of there, right? Um, or at least move it back and forth with those needle nails. Um, but in order to pull, get it to come out, you got to turn the motor over so the camshaft load will push it out. And then you can't even push it back in. You have to have a hammer. And uh, I've been using um, an extension, we'll say it's extension, and tapping it back up in there, you know, cranking the motor, get it back out, that kind of thing, and just keep spraying stuff in it. But, man, she is stuck. Um, and like I said before, man, in my mind, that needs to be addressed before you go any farther. Um, it, it, it should move free in there, right? It, if I'm wrong, somebody leave, some, <laughs> leave something in the comment section down there that I'm an idiot and that, you know, but in, in my mind, that piece should just, you should be able to move it back and forth real easy. Uh, it's just a, a, looks like a stainless steel sleeve or actually, Looking at the picture of it, it looks like a uh, push, I mean a push rod, uh, a lifter. You know, is that roller on the back messed up or has it mushroomed on the back? Um, some kind of stuff like that, but hang on. I got a drawing here, a schematic of what that's supposed to look like. All right, so here's a schematic of how that, uh, this is not the exact engine, but this is still how it goes in there. So here's our fuel pump, our fuel pump bolts. Here's that little follower that pushes the low, I mean, pushes that old rod in the pump, right? This little piece right here, that's what I'm trying to get out. Gasket, and then this ring. I'm thinking that's O ring, but who knows? Here. I don't know if y'all remember, but. I was looking all over this engine for where that steel ring there came out. Could this be what that is? Maybe that thing's supposed to slide on, you know, not come, not come out of that, because this is a machined ring that we found down in the timing chain. Now, I do have a hard time think, figure, you know, hard time thinking that thing would come off of this, somehow work its way out of there, because this is on the front of the engine, but mine's on the back and then work its way all the way to the front of that engine and down in that timing chain. But hey, I've seen weirder stuff happen, right? But that's what, you know, it, it all shows. It's just going in, right? So you should be able to pull it out. Uh, I don't know, but that's the deal. So now you got all the specifics, but I seriously think something's wrong there. Um, just, in my mind there's something wrong right there that thing should be easy to come in and out all right so until i get that thing out and uh get it all back together i you know there's no sense in buying anything or checking anything else out until and i've tried everything man i have took uh picks i've took screwdrivers that i've got bent for doing odd and end stuff stuck in there and i mean you it ain't coming out of there uh not like that um, and I'm afraid I'll get something back in there that's hardened and really yank on or something, break it off. And then I'm back to, you know, now I got a piece of metal running loose in the top end of that motor. Uh, the only way to get to the plunger in the back, instead of coming at it from the front, is you got to take the intake cam out, which entails valve cover got to come back off, timing chain got to come back off or at least loose, you know, to get that gear off the front. Then get the time okay. I mean, get the crankshaft out. Crank. I'll get it in a minute. 
get the camshaft out, and then maybe you can get back in there and do something. You know, if you if you can get that out or get the camshaft out with that piece in there. You see how it all runs downhill? It's like crap. It always runs downhill. But there you go. Uh, that's about it for the Wednesday thing, guys. Um, I'm just going to keep tinkering with it till, I, till it comes out there. Or, heck, I might have to go to the Chevrolet dealer. Maybe they got some kind of little tool that you can get and stick in there and get it out. I don't know. Um, but that's the cap table stuff. Um, I've got this weekend to work on that and try to get it finished up. Because next weekend, i got to get back on the C10. He's wanting to come pick that up. And, you know, we don't like a whole bunch on it. There's a, I think, uh, got a little problem with the fan, uh, headlight switch, carpet, headliner, which that ain't no big deal to put in that truck. And uh, a few little body things. And he's taking it home and drive it around a few weeks, kind of enjoy it a little bit. And then he's going to get the stuff, put the back springs in it. And bring it back down here and leave it for a couple of weeks and that kind of thing. Um, so as I get that done, that Captiva done, then I'm going to change that camshaft and that 85 S10 out. Oh, 85 Blazer out there. Try to get that one to go through emissions. Uh, once all that's done, then we'll get back on that little red 84 S10 out there and start building that engine. Uh, I got to fit some fishing in here sometime. It's springtime, all, you know, weather's warming up. Bass and stuff's going to start running like crazy and biting. I try not to miss that, but <coughs> got to have the captiva to pull the boat. Yay. Then, of course, you know, Lars has got a pickup truck. Uh, he's bringing over so we can get it fixed. Uh, oh, I want to give a shout out to him. He come by the other night and I was working on that. And, he worked on that thing for a couple hours trying to get that piece out of there while I was in here doing some stuff in the shop and I'm just running in and out and trying to help him. And But anyway, man, there you go. Uh, hope things are going good in your life and everything's all right in your world and everything's treating you right. Uh, like, share, subscribe, leave some comments, what you might, you know, do to get that thing out of there. We did use some heat again, still didn't work. Not worried about messing up that O-ring, you know. Heck, I'll replace it, but something's got to make that thing come loose. Anyway, uh, we'll see you on the next one. Hope you're having a great day or great night when you see this. And everybody just take care. See you next time.